Okay, so I want to show you these molecules of graphite and um, diamonds. And the applet that is has the link from the assignment page is not great. So I wanted to show you this uh, myself and sort of save you the trouble of, of trying to load this. Um, so what you have here, both diamonds and graphite are made out of the same element. They're made out of all carbon atoms. So carbon, these molecules here, these little balls, are held together by bonds, covalent bonds, um, to these other molecules right around it. And if I rotate this, you can start to see um, what's happening here, is that these molecules are in sheets. They're, these sheets of graphite are held together by other weak bonds, um, but they're not as strong as the sticks that hold the, the molecules together um, to the adjacent molecules. So each of these graphite molecules, each of these carbons is attached to three others um, around it. So you can see these. this one in the center is attached to these three, and this one is attached to these three. And any of these that are on the edges would be attached to others' molecules going further out. So if you can imagine this on a very, very small, this is a very, very small scale. And when you look at these molecules, you can see they're in these flat sheets. And the flat sheets break off right by right in the center here. They're not held together. And that, if you look over here, if you're reading this, there's a lot of pretty um, advanced chemistry in there. But one of the things is the property that graphite has is that it's, it's a very slippery, and I do have a sample of that, and you'll you'll look at it in one of the labs. But it's very slippery, and it's used actually as a lubricant in locks. You can um, get powdered graphite and put it into a lock, and it will allow the key to move more easily. So they use it in in um, industrial purposes. Now, if you look at diamonds, which are also made out of carbon, diamonds have a very different structure, and it's unique. If you look at it all of the molecules, there are no sheets here, there are just carbon molecules attached, attached to other carbon molecules. And if you count them, there should be um, one carbon molecule in the center is bonded to four other molecules of carbon. And that is the most, uh, the strongest and the most stable form of this carbon atom. The problem is, it's really hard to get these carbon molecules to be that close together and that tight. So you need the extreme heat and pressure that happens deep underground to form these diamonds, which is why they're so rare. And this gives them their chemical properties of being very, very hard. So the, the hardness and the, um, the rarity are, come from its method of formation. And if you look at the way these bonds are formed, they're very different than the other carbon. So graphite is... Oh, the weakest mineral, diamonds are the hardest mineral, all because of the way the chemical bonds are. And that's one of the things that I'll repeat over and over again through this unit. It's the internal arrangement of these atoms. The internal arrangement of the atoms here causes these, these minerals to behave the way they do. It, the, they have these characteristics because of this internal arrangement. And that's the key be, behind all of these um, molecules. So um, keep looking at those videos, and uh, if you get a chance, you can play around with these molecules. They're kind of cool to, to spin around, but, uh, but that's it for now.